Welcome back to my channel everybody. If you can't tell, this is coming to you in 4K, at least this part of the video. We have a new uh, piece of equipment for the channel here and Kaylee and I are pretty excited about it. I'll show you what, what we got here. That is the Sony AX700. Full 4K. An absolutely awesome awesome camera and it's gonna bring you guys some pretty epic footage this fall but I just wanted to introduce you guys to the new camera and also I'm gonna introduce you to the 4x32 compact scope which this video is brought to you by this thing can do it all let me tell you this scope is equipped with fiber optic sights for quick uh, target acquisition blue, green, and red reticles. It's 100% shock, recoil, fog proof, and nitrogen filled. It's got a preset parallax adjusted for 100 yards for your uh, mill readings, and it's multi-coated lens for bright and sharp optical clarity. So this thing would be perfect for an AR-15 or anything like that. So with that being said, if you guys want to uh, check this scope out, I'm putting the link in the description below, but let's get right to uh, the video of today. Appreciate everybody watching. A couple days ago I set up this trail cam right here on the edge of the field and I set it up at like five o'clock in the evening and then a couple hours later I was flying my drone around and I uh, flew my drone right up here and I saw a deer come sneaking through the edge of the cornfield here and uh, she came walking right up behind the camera right next to it and as soon as she stepped out into the field and saw that camera she freaked out. So uh, I'm just gonna play that drone footage and once I'm done playing that, I'll narrate it a little bit for you. We'll check and uh, see what kind of pictures or videos on this camera here. But it just shows you, you know, I think that those deer, at least when you first put a camera out in a spot, they're onto it. I think that, you know, they're not, when they see something where it's not supposed to be for the first time, they're not about it. That deer took off just like you saw in that video. So let's check this camera. Okay folks, so you can see the view from the drone and that's my trail camera set up right there where the arrow is and the deer come in right to the left of it. And if you notice here in a second, the deer kind of pauses and acts as if it knows something's up and backs up a little bit. And then it uh, decides that, you know, nothing's really wrong and it can go out into the field. But I had just set that camera up so it's never seen that camera there before. As soon as her head sticks out the edge, boom. She's like, that's not right. And then freaks out and takes off. But that just shows you when you put a camera in a new spot that the deer aren't used to it, it's gonna take a couple days for that, for the deer to uh, become accustomed to that. As you can see, according to uh, the very first trail camera video that the camera took after I left, we still have a massive woodchuck infestation on the farm, even though I kill over a hundred of them every summer. So this just shows you what a serious problem the woodchucks are on our farm, and the fact that I just need to keep killing them as many as I can, as often as I can. <laughs> 